with this week's episode of the Seven Deadly Sins, man. I did not review last week, but with this week, I have to. It was such a good episode. It really was, man. And I'm not going to joke around when I say this, man. I'm being really honest. I'm loving this series. Like, this is becoming one of my favorite shonen. And it's only episode 9. I can only imagine the greatness coming from this anime. This will definitely reach, like, my top 5 of all time if it keeps up the quality of right now. It really, it's really that good, man. I'm loving the format. I'm loving the story. I'm loving the setup. I'm loving the characters. I'm loving the powers they use. And all the mystery surrounding the anime with the, um, with the backstory, with all the characters. With the scenery and with the world itself. You know, it's a very beautiful, colorful world they live in. It really is, and I'm just loving it. I'm loving everything about it. Alright, let me get with episode 8 last week. There was um, a few things to discuss about that episode. First of all, band backstory. It was finally pretty much finished. And I gotta say, man, again, I'm not gonna lie. That was honestly one of my favorite backstories in anime. It, it really was. Especially with the ending, when Bond was about to tell Elaine something and then she just dies in mid-sentence. That, that's that's some hardcore. That really was, that was heartbreaking, man. It really was. Um, you no, know, the whole the whole the reasoning be, uh, from King was finally also finished and why he wanted to kill Bond. Um, Bond just let him do what he wanted to do. He actually let. King kill him, you know, realizing that Bond wanted revenge. And I'm actually pretty surprised that um, Bond did not know that both Elaine and King were actually related. He let King kill Bond, pretty much. Elaine broke the seal, and you know, this is when Elaine told everything, all the truth behind her death to King. So after everything was resolved, and everything was finally revealed to King from Elaine, um, he decides to go help. He decides to go help him and, you know, finish the battle with Gila. Because Gila, honestly, Gila is a very, very, very strong holy knight. So, like, seriously, fuck. She was going one-on-one -on -one with all three of them. That, that's that's some impressive shit right there, really. Um, we actually know the truth behind her power, you know, in the next episode. I'll get with that a little bit later on. But, you know, with episode 8, it was mostly focused on Bond and Elaine's backstory again. They reach the, the capital of the dead. They meet Elaine and... Pretty much, that's pretty much it. Uh, and we continue on to episode 9, which was the conclusion of the battle. Um, like I said before, Gila is one strong ass bitch. <laughs> she is really strong. I'm glad that she's still alive. Hopefully we get to see her again. Um, but yeah, the fight between King and and um, Gila, it was a really good fight. <laughs> it really was. Um, we see that these seven deadly sins, you know, they're strong by themselves. They really are. But we also see the magnitude and... And the difference in their power without their holy weapons. Because we realize in this episode that these, all of them have a holy weapon. They had one actually. Um, they need one and if they want to help uh, the princess Elizabeth, Elizabeth, they gotta uh, require another one and find one. And it's pretty convenient. I'm just saying that they found one of them already in like in less than two minutes into the episode after they revealed they lost the... They lost their weapon, so they just found one out of nowhere. Um, and it's Diane, because Diane holds a hammer, so that's pretty awesome. Actually, it's not even a surprise. I would imagine Diane holding a hammer as a weapon. <laughs> she, she looks like a brute. <laughs> we just see that how strong King is with that holy weapon. Um, it can multiply itself into like a million little other daggers just charging towards you. And he easily defeats Gilla. And Gilla was a fucking strong-ass girl, like I'm saying. And we also figure out from Elaine... While she was narrating the fight that um, King, he was actually the king of the fairies. Of the fairies, I forget his full name was like Her Hercule? Hercules, something with an H. Um, but I'm guessing he's the king, he's the strongest out of all of them. Um, you know, until their, until their village, until their, everybody from their village died. You know, sad, sad stuff. I'm guessing he's the only survivor at this point. Unless there's somebody else that survived. But right now, from what I got out of it, he is the only survivor right now. Then, as I was saying, they found Diane's hammer, which was in this city, and the only way to get this hammer back is to enter this tournament. And honestly, man, I just had a freaking... It was like deja vu with One Piece, because honestly, Meliodas and Bond, they remind me of Luffy and Zoro, because as soon as, as they heard about the tournament, and they came with, ah, shit, hey, let's just jack the hammer. And then they, these two were like, hey, we could finally sell our match in a ring. <laughs> 
That was really funny, man. And that's what, that's another thing I love about the series. They know how to put in the comedy in the series. Really, it was really funny. And funny. Like, in, like in the beginning of this episode, um, King was saying, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you out, Bond. I'm gonna help you out. Just stay back, and I'll help you out." All while he stabbed Bond through the chest with his fucking spear. <laughs> yeah, so Diane trying to be cute. You know, she is cute. Diane is a cute kawaii girl. But <laughs> she, she wants, she's like the ultimate notice me senpai. And it, it, it's never going to work for her. It's never going to work for her. She's pretending to be hurt. Calling me Lotus. Help me, Lotus. I'm hurt. I need CPR. I need first aid. Um, I don't know if that was the same demon from Bond's flashback. I'm not sure about that, but that demon, um, if you drink its blood, it gives you super superpowers. It really does. Um, it makes you stronger. It raises your magic skill. And that's what happened. We saw Jericho, and I knew she was going to play a big role. I knew it. As soon as I saw her, I said, hey, we're going to see her again, stronger and better than ever. And now that she has a demon blood in her, she's going to, yeah, she's pretty much after Bond now. So we're setting it, we're setting this thing up like in like in every other arc. As in, one of, each one of these seven daily sins is going to face off with the Holy Knight at a certain arc. And right now it looks like it might be Agila, Jericho, and maybe even Guilt under my drone in that. And then they'll fight the seven daily sins in, that, in the ending of the arc. So I'm, I'm actually expecting that to happen. Some new characters show up in the end of the episode. I don't think they're going to be that important. Only for the battle, and that's pretty much it. We see they're pretty tough. We have this other guy that... He, he's buff, he has green hair, he says that he's been winning these tournaments, you know, three years in a row. So he's finally back at it. So we'll see what he could do. I'm actually expecting him to be pretty strong. I am. That, everybody else, not that much. Um, I do have a feeling this match is going to be interrupted mid-battle. I, I, just, I just have a feeling. I have a feeling it's going to freaking happen. There's a little bit of a civil war breaking through. People are starting to rebel. People are starting to notice this, so you know things are actually escalating pretty quickly. I'm actually very excited now. Oh, uh, and it's you know it's only episode nine. That's what keeps on surprising me. A lot of shit is happening in episode nine. Just with nine episodes, yeah, pretty freaking impressive, man. I I can't wait. I really can't wait, man. If I miss anything, I'm sorry. But that's pretty much it for the review. Like I kept on telling you guys, I love the series. And yeah, man, what do you guys think? What was your favorite part of the episode? Um, are you guys excited for the battle and the tournament? Because we would have a tournament. <laughs> Every shown in needs, needs a tournament. It needs one. And we already got it. So let's see what happens, man. Comment down below. Like the video if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel. Hello, give me the face.